Welcome back. As we read in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, the Holy Bible talks about uh, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the sun, under the heavens. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1, we see God's appointed times, God creating the world. At the beginning of time, God created the heavens and the earth, the beginning and the fall of the first mankind, the first Adam, and his wife Eve were placed in the Garden of Eden, and mankind having fallen in sin and death, they needed to be saved. The Lord Jesus Christ came and provided a redemption of man at Calvary when he was lifted up on the cross at Calvary. And as Moses said, lifted up the serpent on a tree in the wilderness while the children of Israel were coming out of captivity from Egypt, moving to the land of promise, Canaan. In Israel, children of Israel were rebellious and they did not make it to their destiny, to their destination. Therefore, in this life also, as we are living under the sun, we are walking just like the children who are walking in the wilderness towards the land of promise. God has given us a heavenly kingdom where we need to walk into. And as we are walking, we need to walk on the right path, on the narrow way, the narrow way that will lead us to the gate that will help us enter into the kingdom of God in heaven. Therefore, we need to understand the word of God as the word of God says. We need to understand what it is talking about. This life journey under the sun, the safari, is temporary and it has a beginning and an end. Every person that comes into this life, existing in this life, they need to understand that they are here for a season. It's just a temporary life and there is eternal life after this life. And for that eternal life, depending on what people have decided, which choice they are making using their free will, they can choose to go to eternal separation from God that is in hell. Walking through the broad way, the way that's leading people to destruction. And if people are prepared to continue walking on the broad way, to lead them to the broad gate that takes people to hell. But if someone is willing to walk on the narrow way, on the narrow path, walking through Jesus Christ, they will enter heaven through the narrow gate, because Jesus Christ has got the keys to the kingdom of God in heaven through the narrow gate. And Jesus is the way, is the truth, is the life, and therefore people who need to become restored from uh, captivity, because they have been set free from captivity. They need to walk on the way, the right way that will lead them to that destination where God wants us all to go to. But if people are not willing to go to that uh, land of promise in heaven, the kingdom of God in heaven, they will go to hell. There is a day which is uh, the beginning, and there is a day that is the end in this life. People are born, people die. But as the Bible tells us that there is a day that is coming, a day that God Almighty, the Father of all creation, has set aside this day 
and it's a day when everyone who has ever lived will come before him. Every person that came into this life, they will go before him. They will appear before him and they will face judgment. In this world of sin, the world that needs to face judgment, at the end of this age, anyone that is in this life, depending on if they have chosen to take up the cross and follow Jesus. On that day of judgment, they shall receive the reward of eternal life in heaven. But those who have rejected, they have not decided to walk on the way of Jesus Christ. They will not receive the reward of eternal life in heaven, but they will have eternal separation from God that is in hell forever. Therefore, a day when everyone who has ever lived will come before the Lord God Almighty, they shall receive their reward, beginning with the first mankind, Adam and his wife, who sinned at the beginning of time. And maybe if they got saved when the Lord Jesus Christ died and they accepted him as the Lord and Savior of their life, they will be in heaven. Adam and Eve, the first humanity God created from the dust of the ground, they sinned and all this brought all humanity into condemnation and unless someone decides to become saved, that is accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of their life. Jesus Christ, the last Adam, who came to save humanity from sin and condemnation. Therefore, as we have said, there is a time and season for everything, God creating things at the beginning of time, and there is coming an end, that is an end where people walking through this uh, temporary life, they are going to enter that place where all those that have been restored back to God's kingdom will be staying forever. Beginning with Adam, Eve, those were the first uh, humanities, Cain, Abel, and all these uh, were born after the uh, sin that the first Adam and his wife had committed, disobeying God's instruction, God's uh, word. God's word is what mankind needs to live by. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Therefore, every word that comes out of the mouth of God, a man needs to hear the word, obey the word, do what the word says. And as it is appointed for every person to die once, and uh, after this uh, they face judgment, according to the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 9, verse 27, and as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this they will face judgment. God will bring into judgment both the righteous and the wicked, for there will be a time for every activity, a time to judge, for a time to judge every deed, every deed that a person has shown, has exposed, good or evil, it will be exposed on that day of judgment and every person shall receive a reward. Someone, if they had the evil deeds and they repented, asked the Lord for forgiveness, those deeds will not put them into eternal separation from God. But if someone has been forgiven through repentance, someone turning away from their wicked way and walking on 
the right way, in the way that is the Lord Jesus Christ, they shall not have that separation from God. According to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 17, God will bring into judgment both the righteous and the wicked, and for there will be a time for every activity, time to judge every deed. And uh, as we read in the book of Romans uh, chapter 2, but in accordance with your hardness and your impenitent heart, you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and the revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to each one according to his deeds eternal life to those who, by patient continuance in doing good, seek for glory, honor, and immortality. In the book of Romans, uh, chapter 2, verses 5, 6, and 7. Therefore, God, uh, for he has set a day when he will judge the world with justice by the man he has appointed. He has given proof of this to everyone by raising him from the dead. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Acts chapter 17, verse 31. And as the psalmist also talks about appointed time, the book of Psalm chapter 75, verse 2. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. Psalm 75, verse 2. Therefore, judge nothing before the appointed time. Wait until the Lord comes. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of the heart. At that time, each will receive their praise from God. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. If you say, surely, we did not know this, does not he who weighs the hearts consider it? He who keeps your soul, does he not know it? And will he not render to each man according to his deeds? The book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 12. Therefore, we need to understand that life and judgment is in the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And as the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 5, reading through verses 24 to 30, we see, uh, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. It's the Lord Jesus Christ talking about life and judgment that are through the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man. Most assuredly I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life, and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. See, mankind has been saved, all humanity has been provided the gift of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, his burial, and resurrection. Therefore, whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself, and has given him authority to execute 
judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation, that is, on that day of judgment, all shall be resurrected. Those ones who did good, they shall receive eternal life in God's kingdom in heaven. And those who have done evil, they'll be resurrected, they'll be judged and cast out into the lake of fire and where they'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Therefore, people need to hear the truth, to accept the truth, to know that God has a plan. He has the beginning and the end. Therefore, all things in this world, they'll come to an end at God's appointed time. And as uh, the Lord Jesus Christ continued to say in verse 30, I can for myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Jesus Christ talking about life and judgment. Life and judgment are through the Son, as we read in the book of John, chapter 5, verses 24 to 30. We ask you to think, ask the Holy Spirit, our master, our teacher, our counselor, to give guidance, to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you may be able to understand what the Word of God is saying. The Holy Spirit was sent to help us, to teach us, and to prepare us for the soon coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is coming back again soon. People need to prepare to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. His coming is near. We have shared so many messages uh, talking about uh, the day of the Lord. And on that day of the Lord that is coming, there will be judgments. Therefore, people need to accept the truth, to know that unless someone becomes saved, if they depart from this life, someone dies today, the next second from now, someone is listening this voice and do not want to accept what the Lord Jesus Christ has allowed his people to do, to come out of the wilderness and continue walking on the right path, on the narrow way towards that land of promise, the land of Canaan, the land of God that he has provided for mankind, that is in heaven, the kingdom of God in heaven. Listen to the messages that we have already shared. The guiding of the Holy Spirit, someone should be able to understand what they are hearing, what they are listening to. We are in this month of June, the year 2022. As we have uh, started this uh, new day, uh, we thank our God for allowing us to exist to this day so that we may share the messages that are for us to understand that he has a big plan for each and every person. Therefore, people shouldn't worry today whether you are going through some suffering, some challenges in this life. You don't have to worry. Don't worry. Be happy because our God created us all for a purpose. He loves us. He cares. He has a plan and purpose for each and every one of us. 
Therefore, we need to thank him for what he has done for us. He has provided for us eternal life. In our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he came and died on the cross at Calvary, that whoever shall believe in him will not perish, but will have eternal life. There is a day of judgment that is coming soon. And we indeed are living in the last days. If we seek the wisdom and knowledge with the guiding of the Holy Spirit, we need to know that there are signs of the end times that the world is experiencing at this moment. Because sometimes you've heard of uh, rumors of wars, you've heard of uh, Russia attacking Ukraine, just a warning that the Bible says those things are happening. So even Christians also keep saying that, oh, we are going to do this. You cannot stop God's plan because he knows he will give people, he will remind people through certain things that the world is coming to an end. Therefore, people need to prepare and say, oh Lord, help us to be ready. We are coming back today. Help us that we will be amongst those that will be prepared to receive you. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you because already you provided for us the gift of eternal life. Whether you are coming today or you are coming tomorrow or whenever, as long as we keep trusting in you, and the word, knowing that you promise you're going to heaven to prepare a place for us. Therefore, as we're walking in this life journey, we need to know that at the end of this life, we are moving over to heaven, eternal kingdom of God in heaven. We ask you to Think, ask the Holy Spirit, our Master, our Teacher, our Counselor, to give guidance, to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you may be able to understand what the Word of God is saying. The Holy Spirit was sent to help us, to teach us, and to prepare us for the soon coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you. And our prayer is that the Lord may continue to protect you and seek the guiding of the Holy Spirit so that you are able to hear what he wants you to hear. He has kept you till this minute for a purpose. Discover the purpose for which you are existing and fulfill the purpose for which you are existing. Stay blessed and shalom.